Sean Sport in podcast form. There was plenty happening over the weekend, particularly over the last 24 hours. Woo-hoo. The Gypsy King, mm-hmm. he, the Gypsy Kings came up just a second ago. I thought we'd better touch on him. Tyson Fury. Yeah, what about him? Lost for the very first time in his boxing career to Alexander Yusik from Ukraine. Mm. Uh, I feel like um, that will result in Tyson going around his house and smashing his windows. <laughs> I feel like that's what Tyson does. When he's displeased, he gets destructive. When your last name's Fury. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean. Well, normally it's just praise, praising God and yeah. the Christian world Singing and getting and around him. Did you say yeah. that time, didn't he go out and attack a bus? He attacked a bus once. No, no, that no, was Conor McGregor. Was that, okay, Conor, Conor McGregor. McGregor. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And... Uh, uh, anyway, I was looking at how much he would get paid for the fight, and they're suggesting it's going to be about two hundred and thirty million Australian dollars. Ease the pain a little. So bit. So you're happy to get in the ring for twelve hours? Uh, twelve hours, twelve Minutes. rounds, and just cop a few on the head for two hundred and thirty yes. large. So okay, so this is the prize money that's up for grabs, and um, how much? That's his share. Yeah, that's his yes. share. How much is made from selling these fights? Like, if they can pay yeah. someone that yeah. much money, how much is made? And the winner, yeah. the winner gets. And the winner too. gets stuff. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah that? I think some of the biggest fights in history have led people to walk away with three to four hundred million dollars. So they're over what? a billion dollars in in terms of the purse getting. Because mm. you think about people in Australia who have watched this and pay per viewed mm. it, yeah. and all the pubs yesterday, just us, yeah. and we're one of the smallest countries in the mm. world. Yeah, it's massive. It's massive. crazy, the money. Yeah, absolutely. And afterwards, he was getting interviewed. I know there was a few interviewers mm. that said that he, he believes he should have won, and he thought, and there was a line that said that he believed that Alexander got the votes because of the war in Ukraine, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Because <laughs> um, the, the, the umpire or the judge, was it? What's it yeah, called? Uh, the judges. Yeah, yeah felt yeah, yeah. sorry. They, they, they stand, stand with Ukraine. Yeah, yes. they, stand with Ukraine. <laughs> they stand with Ukraine is his, is his excuse. But all the other stuff that you're seeing him getting interviewed, the what I saw, he was. He said to Alexander, I'd love you to come over and bring your family, stay at my house, yeah. and I open my house to you. You're a wonderful human being. And when, when he's in bed, because he beat him, when he's in bed, do you reckon he just, when he's asleep, just punch him in the face? <laughs> <laughs> just so you can get him back? Yeah. His guard's Why not? down. His guard's Why down. Not? A quick uh, knee in the ribs or something. Just a real cheap yeah, shot. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So there's big money in that. It's quite amazing. The West Coast Fever, from a local perspective, kept their. Ball going, Nat. Can you tell us about the game? Yeah, I okay. So close obviously, I was there, Nat's box. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. uh, and it, I tell you what, the Thunderbirds had their measure because defensively they were amazing. Thunderbirds, are they go. were amazing, yeah, okay. and they did actually force some uncharacteristic errors. Janelle Fowler, like a few turnovers, started dribbling is, the ball. It's not crazy. It's not like her. Like she, you know, the, it would. She'd go through her hands kind of thing and it's like we're just not used to seeing that she was up against the best goalkeeper in the world though um, Shamira Sterling something double barrel Shimmy. name yeah, Shimmy. Um, uh, and, and of course they're Jamaican teammates so you know they were, it was on um, and the fact that they kind of the fever kind of stole it in the end um, they there was uh, their, the Thunderbird shooter had a crack at a two pointer had that gone in they would have won so it was it was tight tussle one goal in the end beautiful and at the end all the six sunshine girls got on court and did a little bit of Jamaican oh, kind yeah, of I saw dancing that. there. Yeah. Like, they're just so much cooler, to be honest. <laughs> they certainly are. It was great. It was a great match. They remain undefeated yeah. and um, tough tussle. just finally with the football, we'll speak to Pav a bit later on. There's a cracking couple of games yesterday. The one between Hawthorne and Port Adelaide was unbelievable. Went the down end to the to final game. second. And Darcy Byrne Jones soccered this thing off the ground, and and it spun ridiculously sideways, but it went perfectly straight at the same point, and they were able to get over the line. Hawthorne was smoking him in the first half; yeah. it was an embarrassment. They were like thirty-one points up. Yeah, they were they? killing yeah. him, absolutely yeah. killing him. And um, yesterday's I was watching game. Bridgerton. <laughs> I think I was watching Bridgerton last night when yeah. I was watching the yeah, football. Yeah, we're going to see if Penelope can find love this yeah. season. The West Coast Eagles played fantastic yesterday. <laughs> they were so, so good. And one of the things that um, Adam Simpson mentioned after the uh, game was the fact the the way that the crowd um, interact with the team. And, I, and I've said this to you before, Nat. I believe wholeheartedly that West Coast fans have given West Coast the opportunity to win games through free through, kick through their spirit because they go absolutely that... mental nice. mental so do you think there were free kicks that weren't warranted yesterday they that... lost the free kick camp which is unbelievable <laughs> but the willingness of the crowd to participate in the yeah. game yeah. so maybe what they're doing is lifting bad, the players not, lifted the players not convincing oh. the other and continually umpires. lift the players yeah. when they play a home game it's mm. just an, such an advantage mm. it really is so to all the West Coast fans you're doing a bloody good job of getting behind your team because it makes mm. a big difference the team themselves played great, and it was a it was a 
uh, cut and paste job of what they did against Fremantle. Yeah. They won the contested possession, uh, and it wasn't the numbers of contested possessions, but they were able to loose ball gets, all this kind yeah. of stuff that matters at the end of the day. Their pressure was great. Harley Reid was so good yesterday. Yeah. When he was when he, on, when he, he was so good. off Christian Petrarca, the, arguably the best player in the competition, you go, oh, yeah, that's... I that saw a bit of yeah. Harley, and he doesn't look like he's out there working. He looks like he's just doing something that is natural as breathing to him. Nathan, I think all the stuff that we saw yesterday was n- very... It's a, it's a great point. It was very natural. Yeah. Um, he was just doing his... Was I want the ball to go there. Okay, it goes he's there. I want to do this. It goes there. I'm smiling. I've got a headband yeah. on. Yeah, he's having yeah. the best time. And, and, and certainly, like, he's such a burst player, isn't he? He's, like, a he's, very, just, he's yeah. very Thank much you. a burst yeah. player. Yeah. And hopefully over time he becomes a player who's going to get 30, yeah. 30 possessions. But he was not, he's a 19-possession nine yeah. nine player at the moment. But... They counted big time yes. yesterday. He was amazing, and the only other and the other player who's been amazing all year is Jake, Jake Waterman. Waterman. Now he's yeah. playing a thousand to one to win the Coleman Medal. It's one of my friends had a couple of bucks first. on him. Yeah. He's equal first at the moment, and he does not look like dropping a ball ever. No, it's amazing. He kicked so five hats yesterday. Hats off to him. And, and, you hats know, off to both of them. The only thing that might cost him the Coleman was was missing a couple of games due to concussion. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, extraordinary. Yeah, good luck to him. Well yeah, done. Doing so well. Love it. <laughs> Sean Sport in podcast form. Mavalenko, you beauty. Good morning, <laughs> Matthew Pavlich. <laughs> We're up and about, Pav, because everybody one. won. We're winners over the weekend. <laughs> Come on, son. <laughs> Yeah, how good. Great to see. Uh, not often that it's happened the last uh, couple of years that we talk about no. footy on a Monday morning here and our um, local post- Perth teams both saluting with victories. It was great to see. Hey, mm. hey, before we get stuck into this footy thing, did you do the run for the reason yesterday? Run for a reason? <laughs> yeah. So, Shawnee, look, what about this for backstory? You know how, like, <laughs> when you're a captain of an AFL team, which you were for a long time, or you're a boss maybe at work, and uh, an employee or a, or a team member says, oh, you know, my dog ate my homework or I slept in or the yes. alarm didn't go off. Yeah. I, had, I had one of those moments yesterday. What? Where, well, so, yeah. Lauren, okay, so there's a bit of a backstory. So yeah. Lauren was running yesterday in the, the 12K. She, yeah. she ran with a friend yesterday, did a great was job. Was her reason to get away from you? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? So <laughs> it hurts when it's true. It's hurt, you know. <laughs> Uh, yes, exactly. That that was her reason. Most, most uh, weekends and week morning, she's got to get out of the house before I can um, annoy her. Um, so anyway, so the plan was okay. I'd I'd wake up, I'd go to the start line with all the the other Channel Nine crew who yep. were you know sending everyone off. Monica Costas there, Natalia Cooper, Tracy Vo, Michael Thompson to wish everyone well. And then I was going to dash from there um, mm. and after a couple of interviews and whatnot and go to Jack's year for footy, which I was coaching at 8am up at Wembley. So mm-hmm. Swanee Tigers. Had mm. everything planned. Like literally had, you know, to the minute mm. had worked out my morning because I'd have to set my alarm, get up, get clothes, get, you know, help get the kids ready. Lauren was already out of the way. I was going to have to get Lauren's dad to pick up the kids. Harper had basketball. Everything was organised. Mm. <laughs> well, the, problem, the problem was I set my alarm for six 15 p.m., not 6 15 a.m. <laughs> <Pav. laughs> <laughs> 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 Rookie mistake, Pav. I uh, know, like, seriously, what am I doing? It's uh, it's like I've just lost my mind at 42. So I ended up, what happened was I, um, you know, you're sort of like dozing and whatever, and I could mm. hear the kids up, and I remember mm. just looking at the clock and it said 6 40, and I was, you know, I've done the old. Kevin kind of thing from uh, Home Alone. Yes. <laughs> 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 and, uh, Sorry, I didn't know. I didn't alone. do the Home Alone. Like I just thought that when you're in times of stress, you yelled out the word <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> oh, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yes, I had to do the mad rush. And I, was, I had to um, call the guys and apologise profusely. And anyway, it was a bit of a... It was a bit of a weird morning, but we, we, we got there in the end. Oh, Pav, that is the worst. Hey, hey I know you guys are going to launch into an amazing weekend of football, mm. but I just want to um, bring up a story that I read, and this is insane because you've all you know played grassroots football. Um, this is happening at Melbourne, uh, South Melbourne District's Auskick, right? Mm-hmm. The competition there has a mother... Who is the son, her, whose child is a vegan? She is a vegan, and she's in charge of a vegan organisation. She wants them to ditch the meat sausages 
for everyone and replace <laughs> them all with vegan because, because her son her. eats vegan and feels ostracised about the sausages he eats. Okay, so we want to make it... Discuss. We, yeah, so everybody has to. The 99.9% yep. yep. of people have yep. to yep. toe the line for the one yep. percent. Yep. And then she said also, look, I understand if you're saying that we can't do that and get rid of all the meat sausages, but um, every single person that eats a meat sausage, we, we should, we, we've got to tell them what, why it's bad. Yeah, and we should burn them at the stake. Talk to me about local football sausages, yeah, Sean. Well, I had one yesterday. Today. <laughs> yeah, that's great in-depth analysis there, Shorty. No, I, um, so did I, by the way. Uh, no, I. Um, well, it's a part of like any sort of sporting. Whether it's it happens at minky, it happens at cricket, it happens at um, you know soccer, whatever it may be. There's always a snagger happening in the uh, on the barbecue to raise a few funds for. Um, the local footy and no one would be or, buying the vegetarian one. No, so buying the vegetarian well, one. I mean, you're cooking I mean, for the vegetarian kids. That's fine. They, you can cater yeah, to them. It. You don't have to make everybody else what? follow that. No. They'll probably shut that, it down. That's though. the strange. That's the strange thing of that story, isn't yeah. it? Like, why are you why are you saying that you can't have both? Like, what, mm. why are you saying meat sausage is a man? Are we doing vegan now? Well, hey, how about we cook a little bit of both mm. for each? And uh, you know, if whatever. Okay, no less dos, as they say in the taco ad. Oh, <laughs> why not exactly. have both? I thought it was the oh, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. I thought that Very was, good, now. I thought, was, I thought it was something offensive. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I came on, I was personally insulted. <laughs> right, no, I know. No, right, okay. Pav, let's talk about the footy because it was a massive okay. weekend. Now, I want to start. I wanna, well, let's start with because uh, we're going to end with the Eagles because mm. they uh, played at home yesterday. But, Pav, I thought watching the Dockers game, take away the, the goal kicking, was everyone's mm. going to mention, and you can. You, I'll ask you a question in a second. But the. Uh, the way they played, in particular, the way they uh, were able to tra- trans uh, transport the ball from defence to attack was amazing. I thought it was some of their best stuff. Yeah, they, well, it, everything was right except for the goal kicking. So I think that's the bit that uh, the last couple of weeks, four fifteen uh, against Sydney, and then was it eight sixteen on the weekend or something like 18. that. Eighteen. So yeah. Eight eighteen. Yeah. So I mean, they should have kicked. Um, they should have won by six or seven goals. It should have oh, been. All day. Um, a, a victory that was done at three quarter time, and maybe I mean, the Saints actually got off to a pretty good start, and 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 you know competitively were in the match. But then after half time, Freo absolutely dominated, and if not for as we said, their bad kicking, it should have been a, a seven or eight goal victory. So lots to like. They've won now three times on the road. Um, they're doing a lot right, um, and they just need to finish off off their work. But Matt Five yeah. with his goal th- kicking, Pav. I'm going to just jump in there with that one. Yeah. It looks like. It really takes the, the sales out of the team if he's marking the ball yeah. inside 50. It actually, and the crowd, the crowd's the same. It has been like that all year and, and probably oh, last year. It's been year. like that for a while, hasn't it? You know, we, I mean, I think he only had four kicks on the weekend. He's a handballer now. He's, he doesn't mm. kick the ball. Um, a lot, I mean, there's a few midfielders in the competition that do that, but he, he's lost all confidence in his kicking, not only in front of goal, but around the ground. Um, we saw that against Sydney two weeks ago where he butchered a couple when they went down and scored. Like He just ambles now. And if you're the opposition, you know that. So he's actually not looking to dispose of the ball by foot. He's looking to handball. Um, and it is deflating um, the fact that he had that kick. Uh, it was a sort of 35-40 out and it goes out in the full. So, look, he's been a wonderful player, but he's just really struggling full stop with his with his disposal by, by foot. So... Uh, but he was—he wasn't the only one. There was you know, Pat Voss, Jai Amos, who's normally pretty good in front of goal. But he's had a wobbly year um, in front of the big sticks as Jai Amos. He needs to. And the, com- the commentators are talking about it. He just—he's he, got a slow and methodical set shot routine, but he does lose a lot of momentum, which has always been a bit of a watch. And, and when he's out of form with his goal, he, those last three or four steps, you can definitely see he doesn't actually get the momentum that's needed. To uh, to keep the goal, so a bit of a bit of work there for the club, but um, I think they're in pretty good shape, Shawnee, in terms of the way they're playing and their back up. Jordan Clark uh, has is having a, an unbelievable year, along with uh, Luke Ryan and Alex Pierce. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the Eagles. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's ready. That's ready. I'm raring to go. You Pat. called the game yesterday. What about that bo- for a boil over, eh? What about that? Who who would have thought going off the Literally yesterday no one. That, uh, that Nam would have been able to. Uh, to dish up the performance they did. That, that's sort of the other story. I mean, yeah. while it's Marawa, yes, they were, were, were fantastic. The Eagles were, were terrific. So let's let's start with the good because, you know, uh, down back firstly, Barris and McGovern controlled things. Let, Liam Duggan, I thought, had a, had a really good game. I'm not sure how his year has been tracking, but I thought he was he was much better 
on the weekend. Um, and then, you know, they, they, they were really dominant. So they've had 50 to the 7 inside, 50 to 36 against a team, mind you, who just don't let you score. So they've mm. kicked 16 goals against the number one defensive team in the competition across the first half of the season, but, but not only the first half of the season, across the last two or three years. So uh, Harley Reid was, was good again. He must have been good. They put him on the back page of the paper today. <laughs> <laughs> he, that's Imagine. a point, Nath. He must have been yeah. good. I tell you what, my favourite moment was when Liam Ryan almost replicated his mark over the top of Max Gorn again. He just he bad. No, that he would have been the mark of the century, He Nat. almost went into orbit. That was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it would have been all, all-time best mark. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, it was incredible how high he goes. He was just lucky he actually touched the ball because it probably would have been a free he landed on his foot. He landed yeah. on his feet, by the way. Amazing. Amazing. No, and look, I think, you know, he hits him forward with the Yeah. Liam Ryan or Jamie Cripps, when, when the midfield and defenders are playing like they are in terms of being able to stop the ball in your, your forward half, it creates opportunities mm. for those forwards. So, you know, Jake Ward, Jake I thought, Waterman, was yeah. best on ground. Yeah, I thought, I thought yeah. he was best on ground with the five goals. Um, Tim Kelly as he, well. He's had an incredible, incredible season. Just, mm. you know, he's kicked 18... Was it 23 goals across his last five games? He's, uh, he's the in forward um, player in the competition. Hey, amazing. first quickly back to five you. Once you lose faith in something that you can do, which is kicking. Yeah, yeah. How long is your, how long is your career left then? Because no, no, you can turn it around. Can you? Yeah, absolutely. He can turn it around. I, I think one of the things that they'll need to do, because repetition is the master of skill, but if he's doing the same thing and the same practice over, it doesn't matter if he's having 200 kicks at training because nothing's changing because it's the mental approach. Yeah. I think one of the things they need to do, Pav, is put him under the spotlight at training every single training session over and over. So out of nowhere, just stop the training. Right, five years taking the kick. If we don't, uh, you don't kick it, we're all running a lap or something. And everyone can oh, really punish the people or, for yeah. his inability to kick straight. <laughs> well, well, well I, you've got to put him in a, a situation where a there's pressure a situation. dire. Yeah. <laughs> well, that happened... I mean, it's the gun to one of his loved ones' heads. <laughs> yeah, going back a long time ago, um, after the grand final in 2013, that the next preseason, that's exactly what we all did. It was stop, stop preseason training, get get a few blokes out the front, and oh. and, uh, and literally put everyone under that pressure. And if you yeah, if you didn't, it was push ups or burpees or, or for a, everyone. Or yeah. So, so yeah. there's there's a consequence yeah, so think, to it. Yeah. Oh. I, I think. It, well, I mean, yeah, because. Having having sort of had good form in front of goals and also bad form in front of goals over you know seventeen years, you do go through periods where you. It's not about. Uh, sometimes it is about your, your execution, and, and I think that's what we're talking about with Jai Amos. But mm. you're right, Sean. There's a lot of it often it's that mental. is mental. So yeah. it could be it could be work with a psychologist. It could be visualization. It could be le- legitimately, as you're saying, putting yourself under as much game like pressure. Which could be the gauntlet, mm. line everyone up, get everyone and put you off, and <laughs> throw you fruit it, at you. Yeah. That's why yeah. when I kick, 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 go to kick a goal, it doesn't go in. Mental, it's mental. Hey, Pav, um, we're not going to be talking to you for a while because you're heading off overseas oh, yeah. on a holiday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how lucky are we? Looking forward to that. We've got a wedding, family wedding uh, overseas, so looking forward to uh, jetting off and. You know, as much as we love these Monday morning chats with you guys, um, you can bugger off. <laughs> yeah, good on you, man. I hope you have an All awesome right. time. Bring us back a present. <laughs> I love your work, Pat. What, um, what do you want? I, I, I don't care what it is, but I know how much money you have, so make it mm. good. <laughs> 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 no pressure. Like yeah. Talk yeah. to you soon. Something that comes with a warranty. Happy travels. <laughs> Sean Sport is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.